Hair color is determined by amount of pigment called melanin. We have two types of melanin, e-melanin and femelanin. E-melanin gives people black or brown hair, femelanin gives people red hair. Here we can see some examples of human hair with different amount of phi and e-melanin. And here we can see animals. There is a difference between uh, human hair and animal hair that we will look later when we look the structure of hair itself. But for now, let's say that the animal hair is more rougher in appearance than uh, a human hair. Some of those regions here, there are actually percentages mixing of black hairs and brown hairs. Some horses, black, brown. In some cats, for example, we see that this cat looks gray, but actually it is a mix of white and blacks. And we can actually see that from high res images much, much closer, where we can see that here. All these hairs are, are white in tips. There is shadowing inside, but there is also some undercoating here happening. We can see it here. Some of the regions like here also. Also a little bit of shadowing. But what we also need to recognize is that most of the animals, they have undercoat and the uh, undercoat is much shorter in the length and also more dense. Undercoat is also most of the time different color. Most of the animals have a white undercoat. You can see it here how it looks. It appears like that one hair has a different tips and a different root color. But when we examine close-up images, like for example these cats, they are black but undercoat is white. And when you look much closer here, you have, here is the strength of the hair that is completely white. And the black ones are more straight coming out and longer and with different percentages and because it's longer and it also like here you can see them a little bit coming through the layer of black hairs and it looks like it has some kind of pattern of different color but it's just different mixes here also in a computer graphics we usually are not making this undercoat layer because it's too expensive, too much memory, it takes too much memory. So we try to find uh, a balance between the density of these two, something in between, and we try to color the roots different, different colors to mimic a look that we see here from the distance and then painting different regions with different uh, tip to root positions and also colors like for example here also so if we look here closer and we follow one of these hairs we would see that it is one color there is no tip to root and this black also goes straight inside this one is looking like goes inside there this one is goes there most of the time the hair root to the tip has one color but not always so you need to examine your character from really close up to to see what is happening or just visually decide and try to to mimic what's going on in real life for example we have here our character that we chose previously and we also can see that having a different color on the tip and then there is a slight mix here with the black and also to the browns and there is also here on the bottom it appears that there is a darker roots and also here we can see what we saw on the cat that there are a couple of whites browns and here we could see true that there is some kind of undercoat happening there but we are not 
100% sure until we have this animal in the hands and examine what is happening there. So here we can also see one of the examples, how we have this stray hairs. The white appears completely white to the root, but there are also some mix here of black tips. White and then black tip. White and black tip. Here we can see the gradient. So we have some of the animals, as we saw, have uh, different tips. Some of them have uh, different mixes of different colors. You need to do your homework and research what your character has and how it looks from close up to understand how you will plan coloring of your hairs. What we will do later in Houdini, we will create using this paper a melanin node that will create output for our absorption color for the shader that studies the melanin and hair absorption. This paper outputs this in sRGB, E values for E melanin and this V values for V melanin. For now, this is from where we will start building our color control node for hair. The paper is called Energy Conserving Hair Reflectance Model.